Alright, this is the next test of the quick anneal system. Uh, case annealer. Credit goes to Partial over at the uh, Sniper's Hive forum for giving me this idea. Test is basically, I'm gonna anneal, test anneal five cases, then I'm gonna retest anneal these five cases and see if the percentages and the times would change. I'm thinking it wouldn't, but you never know. Better make sure quick anneal is off. Okay, it's off. Case in test mode. And turn the light off. Make sure this annealing is done. So the first case was that gave me a time of 3.7 seconds, 54%. Gave me another time of 54%, uh, 54%, 3.7 seconds. This time, case number three gave me 3.5 seconds, 54%. Case number four is 3.8 seconds, 54%. So the percentages doesn't seem like it's changing much. We'll see after I re -anneal. By the way, I'm shutting off the light just so I can see the uh, the case next starting to glow a lot more better than with the light on. Okay, we actually had a percentage change. That one was 53%, 3.8 seconds. So these were the results for the first testing. I'm gonna retest these cases and kind of see where they land.
So retesting the previously annealed case gave me 53 seconds, and, or 53%, uh, 3.9 seconds. Fifty three per cent, three point seven seconds. Three point four seconds at fifty three percent. Three point eight seconds, fifty three percent. Three point eight seconds, fifty three per cent. So, the results of the second annealing of these five cases right there fifty three per cent across the board. The times don't seem to have changed much. Um, most of the cases consistently dropped 1%. Uh, Quick Neo says that's probably, I believe, the amount of recrystallization or time above recrystallization. I kind of forgot. Like, I keep forgetting what it actually means, but it doesn't seem, well, it doesn't seem that if you you change much other than maybe a little bit more discoloration, but the sensor itself doesn't note major changes. The times seem pretty consistent. The percentages seem pretty consistent. I'll do one more run. Fifty two per cent, two point seven seconds. Fifty three per cent, three point seven. Three point four seconds, fifty three per cent.
fifty-two percent, three point six. Three point eight seconds, fifty three percent. Excuse the handwriting, but from the looks of it, the percentages don't really change much. I mean, there was a, for the most part, 1% drop from the first test anneal to the second test anneal, almost across the board. The times don't change much either, 3.7, 3.5, 3.8, 3.8. The times are pretty consistent. The final test anneal for the same case, same five cases, Case one, two, three, four, five. Um, I wouldn't say they really drop too much in percentage, but maybe you get like an extra half or one percent. I don't know. Uh, I don't think any of these brass cases are ruined. I mean, they're still pretty dang hard, so like I'm not denting this case at all. So quick anneal, you can test the, these cases multiple times in order to try to find an average based off either the percentage or the time average before you set your actual annealing time in the menu. Uh, no sacrifice cases. Pretty nice. Once again, every single one of these cases were federal. FC. Head stamp. 223 Remington. I'm probably not going to do a 308 test, probably because it's likely to give the same result. But again, once again, thanks to Partial over at the Sniper Side Forum for giving me this idea. Hope this helps.